Hey guys, this is David and it is Two Minute Tuesday. Let's get started right now. Esther is an incredible book of the Bible and it is different than any other book of the Bible. Number one, it's the only book in the Bible that actually mentions India. Shout out to the motherland India. <laughs> Number two, it's the only book in the Bible that does not mention the name of God. Jonathan Kahn in his book, The Book of Mysteries, I'll put a link down in the description below, calls the book of Esther the book of the unnamed God. In fact, the book is full of godlessness. The scene is set in a polytheistic environment and culture. On top of that, there are evil people in power that are doing evil things to get rid of God's people. So is this book actually a godless book? Is this book less holy than the other books of the Bible? As a matter of fact, this book is not godless, nor is it less holy. It actually speaks to the seasons of your life where you may not feel God's presence, where you may not hear God's voice. Uh, let me give you a portion of scripture. The psalmist David says in Psalm 139, he says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I was to go into the heavens, there you are as well. If I was to make my bed in Sheol, or as some translations say hell, you are there as well. He goes on in verse 12, he says, even the darkness is as light to you. When you don't feel God's presence, he's still there. When you feel alone or you feel far away from God, it's in those moments that God is so close and so near. One of the names of Jesus is actually Emmanuel, and Emmanuel means God with us. And I've said it so many times before, it doesn't mean that God was once with us. It doesn't imply that he will be with us in one day. It means that God is with you right now in this very present moment. Romans chapter 8 says, God works all things together for the good of those who love him. You might be living in a season where you don't feel God's presence being near, where you're not hearing God's voice, but let me tell you, my friend, the fingerprints of God are all over your life. Guys, this is Two Minute Tuesday. I hope it blessed you. I hope it encouraged you. If it did, uh, leave a comment below. I would love to hear how it blessed you. Anyway, it's Two Minute Tuesday. Talk to you later.